Hey everyone, this is Ginny from Homestead Corner and today I have got my top 10 favorite foods for the pantry that I buy from the Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. I think it is a great place to buy lots of your prepper supplies and things for your pantry. They really have some great items there. Not all their food is created equal and I don't love all their items, but today I thought I would put together a little collection of 10 items that I love to buy at the Dollar Tree. I always look for these and we really love having them in the pantry. They're delicious. Some of them are non-GMO, lots of them are name brand. They're really good, we like them. And it's a great savings from the other stores. So the first thing I love to get are these outrageous quick oats. These, they only take a minute and you can boil the water. It says to, um, to boil them for a minute, but you can boil the water and pour it over like instant oatmeal. It still works that way. They're cut pretty small and I like that. Great for all kinds of stuff. Granolas, oatmeal, regular old oatmeal, um, cookies, so many things. These, and for a buck, for a whole pound, I think that is a really good deal. These are delicious and we love them. One of our faves. I always look for those and I'm sad when I don't find them because they are yummy. The next thing that I love to buy at Dollar Tree, and these are in no particular order because, you know, they're all really good and I do look for all of these things. So um, the next thing I like to get is the Mrs. Eden's um, peach halves. These are big 29 ounce cans. They are super good and we love them for peach cobbler, things like that, snack, put a little whipped cream on it. You can do all kinds of stuff. They are super yummy. We love those. And that is a super good price compared to the other stores. The next thing I love to get there is beans. If I can find beans at the Dollar Tree, I always try to grab a couple of pounds at least. They usually have a decent selection. Sometimes it's hit or miss, but... They usually have something, even if it's just pinto beans, but a lot of times they have black beans, red beans. Uh, I saw navy beans there last time I went. Um, all kinds of beans, I love that. And lentils, lentils with the beans. I love those too because they don't take as long to cook and they still have good protein in them. And the next thing I always look for there is rice. They have two pound bags of rice and um, they have the white rice, the brown rice. Um, they have, they usually have jasmine rice, usually only in one pound bags though for the jasmine. And, um, but they have a whole bunch of rice usually. And rice is always a great staple for your pantry. We use rice in a lot of dishes because it really beefs up a meal. And the next thing, which is one of my favorite lunches, <laughs> is the Swanson's Chicken a la King. This is so easy, just open it, heat it up, pour it over biscuits or you know, toast, whatever you have. We usually have leftover biscuits and I just stash them in a baggie in the pantry, heat them up in the toaster while I heat this up. Mmm, yummy. It's so good. And this can will feed, um, you can put this over like four pieces of toast with plenty of sauce. Uh, so I say two people. It says one serving, but I usually can feed two people with one can. And then the next thing that I love to get there are their canned beans. Because you cannot touch Goya canned beans at any of the grocery stores around here for under a buck. So I think that is another great way to go. Although I love dried beans to keep in food storage, I also like the canned beans because they make dinner so quick and easy if you know if you don't have time to cook your dried beans for hours and hours and hours then these canned beans you can whip up something so fast which I like that the next thing let's see are their milks they have a whole bunch of milks they have these carton milks almond milk they I think they have 
This is the unsweetened, but they have vanilla. I think they have sweetened. They have plain old milk, like cow's milk, um, soy milk. They usually have a whole bunch of different kinds of them. And also the coconut milk. This is so creamy and yummy for cooking. We love this. So their milks are another super good buy. And these size cartons at your local grocery store are pretty expensive, almost $3 a lot of times, sometimes over $3. So these milks are a super good deal if you can find them. The next thing I learned from you guys, because you're all amazing, and it is the Hungry Jack hash brown potatoes. They're just dehydrated potatoes. There's nothing else in there. And you just open the box, cover them with water, and rehydrate them while you're getting everything else ready. Only takes a few minutes and you toss them in the pan. You got hash browns. They're great in soups, stews. Uh, we use them in breakfast bowls a lot, things like that. Super quick and easy and they are great. And this says five servings. If I'm making hash browns, this isn't gonna feed five people in my house. They're, it's a pretty small serving, I think, for five people. But like breakfast bowls and stuff like that, this works perfect for our family. And the next thing is the Jolly Time popcorn. You get 20 ounces of popcorn and it's non-GMO, uh, good popcorn, delicious, great to have on hand. It's a good snack. Uh, we love it. I make a lot of popcorn in the fall and winter when it's cooler, and I love this for a snack. And you can dress it up so many different ways, Just and it's so inexpensive for a snack. You really don't need much, and it'll make a huge container full. So, And last but not least, they have an amazing spice collection usually. Um, this says Sazon Goya, I think it's called. This is great on chicken, all kinds of stuff, in rice. You can do so much with it. There's a couple packets in here, eight, eight packets for a buck. Really, it's a good deal. And they have a nice selection of like mixed spices and some good name brand stuff in there too. This is Red Lobster and this is uh, Badia. I'm, I'm horrible at, at saying names of things. But just Sriracha Salt, which is yummy I love a little spicy food and uh, their pink salt a buck a pound you cannot beat that it's such a good price uh, a lot of their spices are a super good deal and a great way to get a big stock up in your pantry so you have a nice selection because when you are just cooking from your pantry a lot of the foods are a little bland and spices can really mix it up and I think they are one of the top things that people should be stocking in their pantry. All the spices that you love. And that is it for today. I would love to hear what your favorite foods are from the Dollar Tree and what you're finding recently. I, I would love to hear that and I know everybody else would too. The comment section is always just so full of great helpful information. And we had a little troll or hacker, I'm not sure what you want to call it, they started another YouTube page and called it Pinned by Homestead Corner. If someone sent you a reply and from that, it is not me. I will never send you a phone number on in a reply or anything like that. I don't have any special deals for you to make some quick, fast cash and, you know, I would definitely if you decide that you want to check into it, then definitely be careful because there are so many scammers out there and that's all I can see with that. They have been blocked from the channel, but I'm sure they will make another page. If you see anybody giving any weird, asking anything weird or asking to contact that says something about Homestead Corner, please tag me, message me something so I can find it and report them and hopefully get rid of them. But that is it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.